And we welcome back eCapital News Director Sean Ashley joining us now with more with uh, what is happening. And this week, it's kind of a kind of a sh everyone gets a spring break, I guess, huh? So That's correct. Even the legislators. Now they did do some work here with the uh, the Senate Judiciary, wanting to cap the monetary damages on what's called agricultural nuisance lawsuits. So, what does that mean exactly? What's a nuisance lawsuit? Well, oftentimes the neighbors of an agricultural operation may see some problems with the amount of dust coming from a facility or perhaps excessive smell or, or problems with the lagoon. And oftentimes that results in, in lawsuits uh, related to that. What this would do would be to cap those non-economic damages, the punitive damages, at $250,000 or three times the economic damages. This really hasn't been a problem in Oklahoma, the author of the bill, Senator Julie Daniels, indicated, but it has been a problem in some other states, such as North Carolina. And oftentimes, these lawsuits drive those agricultural operations out of business. So she said it was designed to protect those operations and make sure they continue to function. Tell me more about the uh, Senate Appropriations uh, Committee. They have given approval to a bill that would repay money to a, to a county road and bridge fund. What are we talking about there? And that's right. Over the last several years, the legislature has borrowed money from the County Improvement Road and Bridge Fund, or the CURB Fund. They needed that money simply to balance the budget. That money comes from motor vehicle fees you and I and everyone else pays when they register their motor vehicles. Counties use that money to, as the fund indicates, improve roads and bridges. So they've seen about $230 million pulled out of that fund over the last three years. The legislature is beginning the process of repaying some of that money, and they have a bill which would put $30 million back into the fund this year. We'll have to see in the future whether they continue to do that. Senate President Pro Tem Greg Treat has uh, been a little bit busy. He's, he's formed a working group that's going to look at uh, the Senate confirmation process for these executive nominations. Tell me more about that. Yes. Uh, back when those bills were considered, this was one of the big issues raised by Senate Democrats, that there was no confirmation process, how deep they would look into the backgrounds of these individuals when they came before the Senate for confirmation, advice and consent. Senator Treat has put together this task force that will begin outlining that process so that they'll have some steps to go through when those first nominees arrive. We've got about 30 seconds left, but this is important for retirees. Treat also has a working group put together to look into those cost of living adjustments. That's important news for retirees and pension fund holders. That's right. There is a bill moving through the legislature which would give a 4% raise, in, in, in raise in benefits to retirees. What he wants to do is look at how that's going to impact those retirement systems. Very good. Thank you, Sean Ashley. Not a short week for you as always. Never is.